But if you close your eyes What's up guys and girls back here for another YouTube video so here tonight yes to 14 November 7 so here it is I just want to say I'm sorry again um just want to apologize cause kung sa mga taong nag-aabang dyan um kahit tagal ko naman nag-upload ng videos so ito kasi guys as I've said I think in the last video sinabi ko ata na I've been really busy um ito may paliga dito sa amin ng may paliga ng mga SK yung mga SK na ano then yun working on some projects and as ikaw sa enrollment namin so yun guys I'm really sorry and really really sorry so I hope so, pero eto napapansin ko na may mga nagsusubscribe so thank you so much sa mga nagsubscribe yan 177 then may nagsubscribe at uh, dating last time ko na pag um, the last time I saw Ah, uh, ilang kaya ito mga nasa 150 or 160 something. So ganyan guys, thank you so much sa mga new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the content. So eto, this will be a new topic, a new thing. So just want to say na yung tutorial ko sa Java, so that will be the last which is combo box, I think. Yes, combo box. Yes, yes. So that will be the last and I hope guys na I mean, I recommend you guys to experiment na combine niyo yung mga all about GUIs, the basic steps then <coughs> excuse me ganon so oh yun so in this video i'm going to um say something about or i uh, just as a quick intro about my new tutorial which is about html and css so ano nga ba yan so i'll just remove this karamihan sa inyo is alam nyo na ang html css so html stands for hypertext markup language Ang iba sa inyo alam niya ang high school, tinuro na yan, pero hindi naman masyado atang senaryo, so basta tinuro lang, ganun. Then, CSS means cascading style sheets. So, ano nga ba yan? Sa mga beginners, ay gusto mag-develop ng web pages, ganun. So, for example, ganito, ganyan, web pages. So, let's just search HTML, ganyan. So, eto, HTML is, um, eto, stands for Hypertext Markup Language, is the standard markup language for creating web pages. So, Basically, um, kagamitin natin, may, meron kasi pala yan na ano, yung HTML at HTML5. So, may pinagkaya ba? Hindi naman taga, kumbaga, ang HTML5 ata mas pina-improve, ganyan. Pero it's just the same, I think. Hindi naman masyari. Basta, no, no, nothing to worry about. Then, with cascading style sheets, so CSS and JavaScript. So, dito muna tayo sa HTML and CSS and sa JavaScript sa mga future tutorials na yan. So, I will be having a video about it. Pero, hey, focus muna tayo sa HTML and CSS. So, basically, HTML and CSS, paggawa niya ng, um, ng web pages. So, kung nagtataka kayo, ano ba, ano ba talaga ang HTML? So, kung isipin nyo guys, for example, um, building being built. So, ganito lang ang concept niyan, guys. Um, ang HTML is parang ganito. For example, sa isang website, ganyan, yung structure lang ng isang bagay. For example, ganito. Imagine kayo ng isang, imagine yung bahay nyo. Ang bahay nyo. So, parang yung HTML dyan is parang yung structure. Yung parang structure niya. Yung itsura niya. Yung, wala pa dun yung mga paintings, then yung mga designs na mga linalagay nyo. So, basically, HTML lang yon. So, for example, ganyan yung mga mga wood, mga for example, like, in example lang ko lang sa isang building na ginagawa. Ganyan, parang ganyan. So, basically, structure pa lang, ganyan, ganyan. So, wala pang mga designs, design, design, design. So, doon na papasok yung um, doon na papasok yung, ang tawag dyan, yung Yes, the CSS or cascading style sheet. So basically, cascading style sheet, yun ay yung yun ay yung ginagamit nyo para malagyan yun ng design ng isang website. For example, ganito. Um, search na natin is Lazada. So as I've said, yun nga CSS basically is the designs lang naman ng website nyo. For example, yun yun nga yung structure ng bahay. So dun na papasok yung mga for example, pipinturahan na siya, may paintings, parang ganun. Kung sa concept ng 
um, web designing or web programming or building a website. Ganon, CSS, basically, nilagyan yun ng design ng isang website. For example, etong Lazada, basically, eto, so, ganyan. So, eto, kung isipin nyo, guys, kung isipin nyo, ang isang website, gumaganda lang naman yan because of its CSS. Kung alisin mo ang CSS ng isang website, um, di yan, kung baga, hindi siya attractive or kung ano yung inaakala mo sa isang website. So, kung gusto mo ma ano ang source code, inspect element lang, ganyan. If you're using Google or Firefox or Explorer or mean Microsoft Edge. So, eto lang ayan oh, yung CSS niya. So, it it's basically ito pala. So, ganyan naman. So, wag niyo pansinin to. Just want to say na ito yung source code. You can actually see the source code. So basically ganun lang naman ang concept ng ano HTML and CSS. Wala namang kayong dapat i ano. So sa mga next tutorials, let's get it on with the coding, yung pag-code na. So yun wala, yun na. Uh, yun lang naman nata, wala namang ibig sabihin. Gusto ko lang naman i-introduce about my uh, HTML and CSS tutorial. Then just want to say na pala, bago tayo bago tayo mag ano, ito pala nakalimutan ko na alala ko na. Oh, so Um, in how do you write pala yung kumbaga, kung iniisip nyo yung parang dev C++, yung parang our text editor ng how, kung saan natin i-write yung, yung HTML or CSS, yung code natin. So basically guys, um, you can, or you can write it na lang. I recommend using, um, Sublime, Sublime, yes. So basically, eto lang naman. Ito na, you can just visit the site, just search Sublime, then ito, you can download it. You can download the latest. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-tutorial, ganyan. So, just click it, guys. Be very basic. So, ito, ayan pala. So, Sublime. Basically, guys, ang Sublime text, ito, this is just um, a text editor, ganyan. So, this is where we write our code. Kung isipin nyo, para lang naman siyang notepad. Parang notepad lang naman siya. Note. Pad. Parang notepad lang naman siya. Ang pinagkaiba nga lang nito is mas maganda to. Cause, ayan, may color coding. May kita nyo na yan once we write. I mean, we yes, we kung once na nag-try na natin tong Sublime. So, ayan, na ano, pinapakita yung mga features niya, ganyan. So, I recommend using Sublime. So, nasa sign nyo yan guys kung gumamit kayo ng notepad++. Plus plus, Sublime. So, eto na. I'll, I'll put it on uh, description below. Itong site na to. Or you can just search it on Google. Napakasimple lang naman guys. Pero it's up to you. I'm still going to put this on the description below. Then, <clears throat> ganyan. So, ayan. As I've said, Sublime. So, kung gusto nyo magamit again ng notepad, nasa sign nyo yan. So, nasa sign nyo yung text editor. So, as long as is save natin siya as .html or yung file format niya is .html. So, sa mga next tutorial, yan. I'm just introducing about HTML and yung text editor na gagamitin natin. Then also pala, one last thing, um, use, please use the latest, um, please use the latest web browser. Bakit? Why? Kailangan. So, if you're using, please, I don't recommend na gamitin nyo yung Internet Explorer. So, ganito kasi yan on recommending the latest um, web browser. I recommend using kung meron kayong Firefox, Google Chrome, or Microsoft Edge. Mas maganda yung tatlong yan. Because, ganito kasi yan, ganito kasi, guys, ganito, <laughs> ganito kasi yan, guys. Um, on why I am recommending the latest, as in latest na web browser, because there are things. So, for example, may mga, some part of the code. For example, pa nag-code na tayo, may mga things na, for, uh, for example, gusto natin magpa-display ng something sa ano, something sa screen. Ganyan. So, a simple example. So, nakadepende kasi yan sa browser. Eh. May mga browser kasi parang, <coughs> excuse me, pinaparse yan, parang gano'n. So, I don't really, don't really need to explain yung part na yon. Basta, ang gusto ko lang ibig sabihin, may mga part kasi na, for example, yung, yung mga tinatawag natin na tags na hindi siya, luma, hindi siya na apply or, na, or hindi siya na intindihan ng browser. Yung mga lumang browser, for example, is the Internet Explorer, ganyan. So, magtataka kayo, oh, but 
once nag-tutorial na tayo, magtataka kayo, ah, ba't di nagagana to sa akin? Eh, pareho lang naman yung code namin. Maybe because it's, ayun nga, de-updated yung browser, parang ganun. So, eto, please use uh, Microsoft Edge or any browser, Google Chrome, Firefox, o oh, ganun. So, uh, basta yung latest, yung latest browsers, any browser, basta yung latest. Um, Microsoft, I mean, Internet Explorer kasi is kind of up- outdated naman, hindi naman nata. Hindi ko lang, basta use the latest, guys. Yun lang naman yung recommend ko. So, yun guys. Thank you so much for watching again. Sensya na. Um, I'm really sorry. So, yung mga ibang nagko-comments dyan, I'm noted ko yan ang mga sinasabi nyo. Especially those with Java and yung mga uh, Kotlin. So, from who? Sino nga yun? So, thank you so much sa mga na- new subscribers and I hope you'll enjoy my content. So, yun guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again for subscribing and tuning in to my channel. And yes, I'm out. Thanks, guys. Thanks.